Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hello, hello. I'm Pastor Sean. I work with the students here at Calvary, and I have your word for the day. Uh, We go to Mexico twice a year with Calvary to build a home for a family in need. Um, Now imagine for a second we build this home for this family, and uh, uh, we finish it. It's beautiful. And the family takes her time to inspect it and look at it, and they're examining it and looking it over. And finally, when they speak up, they're super appreciative, but they say they don't like the paint color. Now, some people in the group may agree with the family and offer to repaint it, uh, while some other people in the group may disagree and offer to show them why it's the best paint color in the world. But I imagine this, that in that group, there's an even smaller group that's so distraught by the paint debacle, they decide the best course of action is to rip down the entire building and start over. Do you know people like that? I think that's ridiculous, and I think it's supposed to be. Because in today's passage, Paul tells us that we as Christians have a solid foundation and structure of faith built upon Jesus Christ, essentials of faith. And we get to build on that solid foundation as we press on towards the heavenly goal of glorifying God through our belief in him and unity with one another. But he seems to be speaking to some disagreements that have been happening in the church uh, about things that have nothing to do with the essential foundations. And some people are willing to rip out the foundations of faith because their paint color or their carpet color doesn't uh, look right in their mind. Uh, Check this out in Philippians 3, 13 through 16. It says this, No, dear brothers and sisters, I have not achieved it, that is perfection, but I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Christ Jesus, is calling us. Let all who are spiritually mature agree on these things. If you disagree on some point, I believe God will make it plain to you. But we must hold on to the progress we have already made. So two things stick out to me as we press on towards our heavenly goal. Number one, we must let go of our past Uh, which means Christ has made us a new creation to be unified with the body of Christ and with him. Um, That also means that that what made us who we were before we met Jesus is only a small piece of our identity, and our new identity can be found in relationship with Jesus and his church. It doesn't mean who you were before wasn't important, but its only importance was in its ability to have brought you to the feet of Jesus. So whether raised Christian or tore down as a drug addict, we are very purposely united under Jesus' authority and his saving grace by letting go of the authority our past has in our lives. Uh, Number two, after letting go of the past, we must hold on to the progress that we've made. Here's where I'm going to go with this. The progress we make is absolutely in our initial belief and trust in Jesus. We must continue holding on to Jesus in order to press on towards the goal. Meaning we have to ask ourselves, what are the essentials that, that help us to hold on to Jesus better? The foundation of our beliefs. What are the things that unify every single Christian around us? So if we do have a disagreement on anything else, we know that we can have grace on that situation and treat it as such. So the unifying string that ties all Christians together, no matter denomination or creed, uh, is an important thing to know uh, because it's, it's how we know which hills are worth dying on and which hills are worth having a healthy disagreement over. Now, Paul doesn't discount healthy discussion or disagreements, but he really wants us to be aware that any hill we are going to die on should have Christ on it. So what are the essentials? Here are the seven things that unify every Christian. Jesus Christ the scripture, the trinity, salvation by grace alone, the church, hope in Christ's return, and love for God and others. See, these are the things that bond us all together, and I don't have time to jump into them. However, however, why don't we practice healthy discussion in the comments section? If there's anything you're confused about, or if you have something that you think is essential as a Christian that's not on that list, then go ahead and put that in the comments section. Let's talk about it. Calvary, I love you a lot. Let's hold on to the foundations of Christ and not desire to tear it down because the carpets or walls are the wrong color. I'll see you guys later. Have a good day.